In this lesson, we're going to take a closer look at website directories and the root of a website. So let me just pop open things so we remind ourselves. So you see here the uh, my-website website that we've been building. And you remember I mentioned this is the root of the website, and we know it's the root because we have that index page. And we know that the index page is the first page that a web server will send from any website. So if you go to studioweb.com, what the web server sends is the index page. That's the first page of studioweb.com. And we learned about subdirectories, like the sub-pages directory, and the my friends, and so on. Just a little reminder. And you notice that we had to change our href attribute value, right? This is the attribute, and this is the value. Here's the href attribute and its value. You remember all that. Anyway, so we had to change the href value, the path to the file. We had to tell it, tell the web browser to go to the sub pages directory, right? Because, because my fr my dash friends.html is in sub pages. There we go. So let's take a look at this from another point of view. So I'm going to pull out a page from my book. Now I wrote a book. It's, it's on Amazon, available uh, June 22nd, 2015. I think that's in the US. Anyway, from this book, so take a look at this diagram here. And you see the site folder at the top. This would be the folder that your web hosting company gives you to put all your website files into. So that section, you see, it's, uh, is the root. You see that in the diagram. So that contains the images folder, the products folder. Inside of products, you have the products page. And so this is a subdirectory, right? So the root is this. And you got, to, of course, the index page in the root and the contact page. So look at this example of a root address, or as the nerds would say, a root URL. So you look at how-to-build-websites.com. Yes, that is probably, yes, that's probably the worst spelling you could have for a website domain, but this is something I built in 2003. Anyway, so an example of a root address is if we go to howtobuildwebsites.com slash contact.html. So let's look that up. So let's look at our little diagram here. You see contact.html. You see it's right inside the site folder, which is the root of the site. So here's an example of a root address. Now, if you wanted to load up the index.html, you could type in howtobuildwebsites.com slash index.html or just howtobuildwebsites.com. That's it because the web servers are set up they're designed to load automatically the index.html file if you don't specify the name of the file. So here's an example of a... So here's... So if we look just below, here's an example of a web address in a subdirectory. So it's howtobuildwebsites.com slash products slash products.html. So let's look at our diagram. You see products, and then we see inside of the products folder, we see products.html, and this is a subdirectory. So again, here's an example of a subdirectory URL, and here is an example of a root address URL. I hope this diagram helps to make it a little bit more clear. Understanding all this will make building your websites a little bit easier because you're going to understand how to write your HTML paths code much more easily.